Do you love me? Oh, Suzanne, ask the young and alluring woman. Her name was Roz, and she had resentment and hostility in her eyes. Suddenly, the question was important to her. A duel. He was from the United Kingdom, age 38, and a brilliant engineer since 1959. Adul and Roz knew each other for some time. They met in the hospital. She was a nurse, and he was getting a checkup, and they took an immediate liking to each other. But that night, Adul was too hurt by Roz's question to answer it. He just turned away, thinking, that's the end of a beautiful romance. The party's over. Guests are mingling around the halls, waving goodbye. For about six days now, things had been uneasy between the two. And that night at Jim's party, it was his 24th birthday, everything got worse. There were too many men around Roz, and too many girls around a duel. Now, Roz was certain that a duel's involvement with Suzanne was not a rumor. Propelled by the violent thrust of her anger, wordlessly she leapt up, and swiftly she left the room. There were mirrors everywhere. She hurried down the staircase, and in the hall when she saw her friend Henry, she didn't wave back, but she flung herself into the maze of the gardens and the narrow streets leading to the market. I see nothing anymore. I've lost all memory of good and bad. It's a sad story. She was feeling nauseated and a little dizzy, and maybe it was the emotional stress with the duel, maybe it was the food. She ate a lot at the party, or maybe the drink, but anyway, this young woman wanted to get some medicine or, or something from the market, but it's too late. It's already 2 a.m., the market's closed, and the night is very dark. Only a thin crescent of the moon shining at times in a cloudy sky. That was all. So, Roz goes to take a rest on a bench in the park overlooking the river. And sweet words, so sweet, are coming from the blue waters. A gray dark sleep has fallen on my life. Sleep. For a short time, she felt better. But then the nausea took over again, and, and trembling and shivering, for some reason, she lost her balance, and she fell into the river. But 
unfortunately, two gentlemen, two men with a slight accent from Luxembourg caught her just in time, and they gave her something warm to drink. She was so cold. I I'm sorry, she said. I, I don't know what happened. I, I was dizzy. Don't worry, said one of the men. The river has a strange hypnotic effect on some people. True, true, said the other. Vertigo, vertigo seizes the soul. Meanwhile, a duel, he's driving his car towards home. He takes the road that plunges directly into the heart of the forest. And he drives very carefully at 35 miles an hour, for the undergrowth is thick and tangled with creepers and vines, and the darkness is intense. It's only a short while, but how long lags the time on the engineer's troubled mind? Ross? Ross? He can't help repeating to himself. He reaches a crossroad, and without even thinking, a duel turns right towards the market in the river instead of left towards home. The road again. It's straight, it's flat, it's lonely. But in the distance, serene and beautiful as ever, the sun is rising in its brightest glory. He has to admit the sight is exceedingly enticing. Now, against the giant red globe of the sun, he can see the trees of the park and <clears throat> the roof of the market. And he too could hear the murmuring of the river. And catch fragments of her words. Overpowering, dark sleep, turning point, change of The voice was soft and enticing. Roz? Roz? He called out. Roz! The young woman turned back and she saw a duel. She stood up and thanking the two men for helping her, she ran towards a duel. A duel? Oh, duel. 